I really am thankful that you have joined me this afternoon, or at least I'm in the afternoon here in Maryland, and we'll talk about the ICHGCP E6 Revision 2. Our learning objectives for this afternoon are to define the recommended SOPs associated with electronic systems used to collect clinical trial data. And for the most part, many of us have been familiar with the requirements, at least set forth by some of the guidances by the U.S. FDA. But now this comes from the ICH a Good Clinical Practice. We'll discuss data integrity issues described in the final guideline, and as you know, along with the COVID issues affecting clinical trials, the data integrity issues are really paramount and important for us from a data management perspective. We'll also list the considerations of risk associated in clinical trial conduct and its connection to CDM. We'll review the principles of quality management as related to clinical trials and the tools utilized to implement a quality approach. So as we know, good clinical practice is being defined by the principles of GCP, and those principles are that studies have to be conducted in accordance with ethical principles and foreseeable risks against benefit. And so we always talk about does the risk outweigh the benefit, and how is that going to be assessed when we have studies that may be coming up for conduct. The right safety and well-being of trial subjects and patients are considered. Now, pretty much when we look at some guidances from the FDA, the primary thing is the protection, the primary issue is the protection of patients and, and the safety of patients. Trials should be scientifically sound and described in a detailed protocol. And I've been in clinical research for quite some time, and I have worked for some sponsors that have not necessarily had the most robust protocols. And when they have been sent to FDA for review and have come back with comment, they may have missed the mark on certain things that should be a really robust and scientifically sound protocol. Informed consent is still an issue in this day and age as far as whether there are some GCP breaks where the informed consent isn't obtained appropriately. And then, of course, we, with the U.S. HIPAA laws, but also now we have the European rule on uh, patient, uh, private patient information and patient privacy, we have that confidentiality that needs to be protected. So the goal of this revision was to encourage the implementation of improved and more efficient approaches to clinical trial design, conduct, oversight, recording and reporting, while continuing to ensure human subject protection and data integrity. And of course, I have this bolted because we are, most of us here on the call today may be associated with the data that goes into the databases for our clinical trials. The first revision in over 19 years, this revision two. So in the meantime, while the ICH was still having their primary guidance, the other agencies in Europe and in the FDA have updated their requirements for, let's say, electronic devices for collecting of data and things of that nature. But one of the driving forces between, let's say, the data integrity was that they were looking to drive the adoption of the quality by design and quality risk management principles and methodology. And basically, up until this time, perhaps uh, companies had the option, let's say, to do risk-based approach on conducting clinical trials. And with this ICHE 6 Revision 2, it's not so much of a luxury anymore or an option. It's really dictated that we have to do this quality risk management when we are doing our clinical trials. So that the quality of a trial must be ensured through fact-driven planning. So not only do we have to have a robust protocol, but we have to have good planning up front. And of course, if we have, let's say, studies that are going on with product development, then we may have information from previous studies that would be able to, let's say, influence our approach in the later phase studies. It must be supported by tools and processes that leverage past experience, real life data in order to eliminate unrealistic study procedures and avoidable protocol amendments. 
and today we have a lot of emphasis on real life data to especially in let's say some of our data mining or our, our large databases we want to look at the real life data and then quality management is expected to be risk-based.